Hi everyone, Suzanne the Raider here. Welcome to my playthrough of the cistern, my nightmare. Let's just get it over with. <coughs> and the background sounds in this level are absolutely horrifying. I try and ignore them, but they are really, they are really something. They are really horrific. <laughs> Beelzebub? Is that you? Honestly, someone needs to call Father Damien because this is not normal sounds. At all. Okay, so now we're out in the cistern. Oops, didn't mean to roll there. We are out in the cistern and I just looked up some info. On it, so a cistern is a waterproof receptacle for holding liquids. They have been used to store both rainfall, runoff water, and aqueduct water for the purpose of meeting water needs through seasonal variation. So, presumably, they collect excess water when there's lots of rain, etc., and then you can store the water and use it in warmer, drier months. And if you remember in the last level, we mentioned that that big structure we were running on with the crocodiles and the secret and stuff was a giant aqueduct. So presumably this is a cistern that that aqueduct runs into, which I never knew. Uh, cisterns have ranged from small clay pots to large underground structures such as this one. And uh, yes, a cistern is also the upper part of your toilet. But that is not the case here. I don't think. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. There's some... Uh, info on cisterns i had no idea interesting and yes those crocodiles seem to be down there taunting me but i'm gonna ignore them i'm gonna try and ignore crocodiles and water and those horrific background sounds in this level and just do my thing and get on with it so here's me doing my thing and I actually don't mind this level when that nice music is playing the the theme music it's those background sounds they just really get to me they honestly sound like Satan himself I don't know what they were going for with those sounds presumably it's meant to be kind of sounds of water draining and gurgling and I don't know what they were thinking some of it kind of sounds like flushing like a toilet or something I guess that's what they were going for but honestly it just sounds like an exorcism or something gone wrong and it's really disturbing if you listen to it with headphones in you'll know exactly what I mean it just, those noises should never be heard by people. Ever. <sighs> but I will try my best to ignore them. I won't keep mentioning them. Well, I probably will, but I'll try not to. I'm gonna just try and ignore them. Okay, I'm gonna save it because Pierre is gonna be up here and... I don't like Pierre. He takes a lot of life sometimes, so we're just gonna we're just gonna be on the safe side. Oh. Huh. That worked really well. So I decided I would try this tip that um Stella mentioned on her Tomb Raider website. I presume almost everyone has heard, but if you have not heard uh, Stella runs kind of a Tomb Raider hints and tips and she does complete walkthrough guides as well for every single Tomb Raider game and level and she actually had this hint and tip on her website for getting rid of Pierre quickly is to just blast him with the shotgun two, three times and then kind of run away from him and he will just leave 
and it seems to work really well so i think i'm oh that looks too far to drop no um that seems to work really well and just kind of gets rid of him really quickly without him you know annihilating your life bar so yeah just something interesting to keep in mind there's a secret up here, so I'm just going to get this. Oh, I think I jumped too... Oh, no, I didn't. Sorry. Thought I jumped too soon. And I was going to miss it, but it's all good. It's all good. We're still ignoring the, the demon sounds. They're not going to get to us. Oh, oh, that was a long fall. I presume there is obviously a better way to slide down from there. So do not um copy me on that one. That could have been bad. Okay, and when you're in here, you just have to be careful to avoid the holes in the floor that you don't fall in. But we are actually not going to pull that switch now. Uh, we don't need it flooded. So we are going to go swimming after we kill these rats. Oh, shotgun is a little bit of an overreaction. You can kill them with pistols. Um rats hello where are they are they oh oh now they're moving one of them seemed kind of stuck over here oh maybe because i didn't stand here when i came in maybe that triggers them or something interesting anyway we will now shoot them and then swim. Where's the second one? It's there. Okay, it's obviously not coming. So we will try on this side. They just want to test my patience today. They know, they know I'm vulnerable. It's my least favorite level and they just want to, you know, make my life hard. That's fine. They're rats. They don't care. They don't care about me. So yeah, as I said, um, or did I say already? I'm not sure. But I have made the resolution to just go for it in this level and just swim and jump into things and... I'm not going to spend ages dilly-dallying about getting into the water or we will actually be here all day. So, yeah, just going to just going to go for it as much as I can. Um because that will get very annoying after a while. When I'm playing it on my own, I sometimes have been known to dilly-dally for up to 5 whole minutes before jumping into it. Uh, water, but obviously, I'm I'm not gonna do that to uh, to the people watching. That would be pretty bad. We're not doing a, a speed run through or anything, but still, you know, you want to to get through it in a decent amount of time. So that's what we'll do. Now, I don't think there's any pickups. No. No. That was just a, a crawl space. And down here, no pickups. No. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't 
think it's it's coming back. Okay, I think I'll actually have an easier time shooting everything if I just run back over here. Okay, make sure I get my key. Like seriously, that noise right there, was that supposed to be a demon or was that supposed to be the sound of flushing or water moving? I honestly don't know. Okay. It is very difficult to target things from up here. And where did the second crocodile go? Because, oh, it's over there. It's too far away. No, because I am... I am telling you now. There is no way that I am going on to the next section with that crocodile still alive. I will stand here all day. I will go back on what I just said. I will stand here all day to kill that crocodile because there is no way I am going on to the next section and having to swim with that later on. So we will just... We will just wait until it comes. Oh, there it is. It's dead. We were over dramatic for nothing. We got it. I just need to remember that that's there because it's actually died right in front of where we come out later on. And I just need to remember it's there so I don't get a fright and scream. I'm trying to, after the last video, I'm trying to uh, have no screaming anymore. Jumped right into it. Okay, let me just check. Pickups, pickups, no pickups. I'm going to save it because I know that Pierre is going to make another annoying appearance now. He's very irritating in this level. There he is. There he is. Okay, I'm just gonna drop down. Give myself some life. And oh! Is. Oh, okay. Whew, I thought I was actually going to die there. Try the shotgun trick and see if he goes away. Oh, he does. See, it works so well. Love this shotgun trick. So there we go. Where where he goes, who knows? He just, you know, can run through walls, apparently. So if he can run through walls, why hasn't he got the piece of the ski on before us? Because he could just, like, run through walls all the way there. Sometimes I take this game way too literally. I need to calm down. Okay. Now this pickup is tricky. I'm gonna save it in case I crash to my death. And I think it's one step back and then jump. And, oh, well that, that's useless. Okay, sorry, I'm just gonna 
reload because I'm lazy. Okay. Maybe it's backwards. Oh yeah, maybe it's one step and then backflip. Yay! There we go. Got it eventually. Now, there are a lot of crocodiles in this next room, but yeah, I'm not afraid of them if they're on land. Only in the water. Oh, we'll just run down. shoot this one at pistols. And uh, oh, <laughs> did you see that that crocodile's tail is just sticking out? Oh, I can't if I go around here. Look, you can just see its tail sticking out. That's kind of cute. But it has to die. I think it comes from here or oh well maybe that wasn't its tail maybe that was its um like nose its snout oh well either way it was really terrible at hiding let's put it that way nothing here Why didn't the crocodiles eat the rat? I would think that that's something crocodiles would eat, yeah? Again, stop looking for logic. There's... is there... oh, there's spikes there. Okay, don't fall down there. Kill the rat. And... Well, mm, jump. Yeah, just jump this way, I guess. And oh! Oh! Rat! Ooh. There's just so many rats. Okay, I just want to uh, go back up here and check for pickups because I feel like the rat rushed me, you know, and I wasn't, um, <laughs> I wasn't ready. So let me just double check. I don't think there's anything, but no. Because that would be such a Tomb Raider place to hide a pickup behind, uh, on the other side of an open door where you wouldn't really see it that well. Okay, and I'll just check around here as well for pickups because I don't remember too well where- oh! <sighs> God, I hate these rats. Um, yeah, I don't remember too well where the pickups are. 
And for anyone who doesn't know, you do not want to fall into that pool because you actually cannot climb back out once you get in there. The edge is too high. And I have fallen into that pool too many times to count. And then you get stuck and the only way you can get back here is by swimming all the way back out to the main area and doing that whole big climby shimmy that we just did. Not fun. Just descend carefully. That should be fine. And let me just double check over here for anything. I do not want to have to do anything in this level twice if I do not have to. Okay, so I'm going to save it because Pierre is going to appear again. I'm going to try and just chase him off with my trusty shotgun. But sometimes he's a bit of an ASS. There he is. Did he go? Did he go away? I think so. Okay. Shotgun thing is so handy. Okay, sorry. I'll stop going on about it. Get over it, Suzanne. It's a shotgun. Okay. Yep, I'm going to save it. And then I did, I did state that I would just jump into water and get over it. So come on, Suzanne. Get over it. Okay. I'm just going to get out here and double check that there's no crocodiles. No. But I, I killed the two earlier and there's no other crocodiles right now, so. Two dead ones, don't panic. And where? Oh, oh it's on this side. Okay, and just swim quickly, quickly, and get out. Okay, that's done. Yay. And now we are off to flood the place. Yay. I'm so happy right now. More water. But I guess flooding on more water means we're closer to the end, which makes me happy. Sorry, by the way, if anybody really likes this level. Um, I just don't. I, I hate everything about it. And the next level, too. I hate both these levels so much. I appreciate... Uh, you know how good the puzzles are and everything but no they're just not for me all this water and crocodiles and creepy exorcist background music just um just not my thing not my thing okay I'm going 
to save it and then we are just going to swim as fast as we can and get it over with so we're going to go back the way we just came out that little small opening in the pool swim back to that room uh, where we got out to check for the crocodile and we could hear those rats so that will now be flooded and we can now swim up and jump not jump climb onto those ledges so just go just go okay At least the crocodile is not blocking the way anymore. Always look for the the positives in life. Okay, and oh, my shotgun's a bit of an overkill for this rat. Or is it? Okay, just jump across so we don't have to swim. And yeah, in the PS1 version, there will be save crystal over here as well. But we don't have save crystals. Check again for crocodiles. There are no crocodiles, Suzanne. There are no crocodiles. Just save it and jump in. Go. Okay, grab the key. And I don't think that there's any crocodiles appearing, but I will just double check. Okay, and I know in the second rusty key door, a crocodile will appear. I'm prepared, but doesn't make it any more pleasant. No. Oh, that's the wrong key. Rusty key for this. Okay. Yes, I have two. Just wanted to check that I have two silver keys. So yeah, all I need to get now is the gold key, which is down here, and then I can get the hell out of here. Okay, just go. Just go. Mind the spikes. Okay, and I'm pretty sure the crocodile appears as soon as you take the gold key. So, generally, better to take the key second. Okay, and shoot, there it is. Okay, I think, yeah, that died. Last swim, last swim, let's just go over to this ledge and then get the flip out of here. I say get the flip out of here like this is over, but I mean, we have the whole next level, which is also horrendous, so... Uh, the faster we play them, the faster it's over. Okay, and now I should have all the keys to get through these doors. Yes. Two silver and a gold is what you need, and that is what we have. Yay. Okay. 
Okay, so we need to climb up. Pickups, pickups, no pickups, I don't think. And um, <laughs> we can see the monkey very subtly waiting for us there. Not so subtle, really. So the best thing to do is just run and jump over, roll straight away, and then jump back. Then it can't um, push us off, which, yeah, would be bad. Lions? Are they seriously not going to come back? Lions? Oh, screw it. And one of these has a medipack. I I think it's this one. I'm not 100% sure though. Well, yeah, hang on because I can see... Yeah, that clearly has spikes, so this one doesn't. So it must be in here. Yay, okay. And now there are two different ways that you can do this room. So that room is basically just like a trap room full of lines. There's nothing really in there. Um, so you can pull the switch to open the door and then jump on top of the block and shoot all the lines. Or we can pull this block all the way out, get up on the balcony and kind of go in that way and then shoot the lines from above. That seems to be the easiest way to do it. Um, so I'm just gonna, just gonna do it that way. And yeah, that's it. Pull it again. And yes, need to, oh, push it now. Okay, and you need to go over here to trigger the two rats if you want all the kills. Where's the second rat? Where's the... Oh, where's the second rat? Oh no. Don't tell me I screwed it up and missed one of the... Missed one of the kills. Oh, damn it. That's sad. The second rat just doesn't seem to want to... 
come out. I'll try, I'll try it again if I step over <gasps> here. Ah! There it is. Sorted. Okay. And then you can shoot the lines from up here. And yeah, as I said, this room is empty. There's nothing really in here. And you can just pull the switch here to get out. Okay, and that should be everything. And now we just jump down here to end the level. And yeah, ooh. There we go. Okay, so um, I think I got everything. I need to double check. Honestly, though, I do not care. I am not replaying this level. I hate this level so much. Um, thank you so much for watching this with me, though. I'm sorry I hate this level so much. And if you love this level, my apologies. I'm just basically getting through them to get through them. Because when we do this, we get to go on to Egypt. And that's my jam. So thank you so much again for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. And... Um, Thanks a million for, for watching me.